The only thing that's important enough to stop everything is if somebody wants to write an offer or list a property. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Control your business and not let it control you. You know what I'm saying? And when you get into that place where you can put stuff off, you know, where it's like, I, I'll get to it when I get to it, I'm gonna do me, and you start to um, control your business, you feel way better about everything. You know what I'm saying? And it took me a long time to get there. <laughs> but now, that's why you guys see me like, looking or like walking around like like looking like a sloth like just straight like slow and like like I only got nothing going on it's because I'm literally controlling my business you know what I'm saying like I'm walking around in complete control of everything I know everything going on and what I have to do and I had lunch with a guy a week or two ago from Texas he came over here as an agent and, he, and I walked to the bathroom and I came back and he's like, dude, I know you're working your ass off and shit. Like, I know you're working your ass off, but like, I see you and it, you're just chilling. <laughs> like, it looks like you don't have nothing going on. You're just like, whatever. And that that is what I'm like, because like what he doesn't realize is in the back of my head, I have like 15 things going on, you know? And I know exactly, dude, it's all strategical. It's all up here. So start knocking off at six to try to like, Control, take your life back, see how that works for a week. And then I want to know when we're making our calls, we can't react to a text message or an email or a phone call that comes in while we're making our calls. Okay, there again, when, when, when something happens, we don't need to jump on whatever that is right then. It can wait two hours. The only thing that's important enough to stop everything is if somebody wants to write an offer or list a property. That's the only thing I can think of. If somebody wants to write an offer or list a property, you will stop everything you're doing. That's like when Graham said, I was gonna go get this $2 million listing and he was on the, on the call with us. And I was like, get off the call right now and go get the listing, right? At that point, there's nothing more important than listing that property or writing that offer, okay, period. However, Everything else can wait, right? Everything else can wait. So I want you guys today and tomorrow and the next day, I wanna challenge you to, even if you're not making calls, I want you to start putting off things that pop up. You know, like a text message or an email or a phone call. I want you to ignore it for like an hour or two. Even if you don't have anything going on, I want you to kind of ignore it for an hour or two and do something else and just put it off for like an hour or two, just to see how that makes you feel. I wanna, I wanna give you guys a challenge. Today, tomorrow, the next day, for the next three days, something like that. When you get something that pops up that you think is an emergency, like, like let's just say like, I don't know, like something really crazy, like you get an offer on one of your listings. I do this all the time, by the way. I get an offer for one of my listings and I might not even look at it for like 30 minutes to an hour. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not submitting it right then because like I'm focused on something right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to do something right now. That offer is still going to be there in two hours. The response time is tomorrow at five o'clock, tomorrow at noon, right? I got a couple hours here where I can finish what I'm doing kind of deal. If somebody sends you a repair addendum, the buyer wants repairs, it's your seller, you know, don't worry about that for a little while. <laughs> you don't have to stop what you're doing, call the seller, tell them about it right then. You know what I'm saying? So this kind of goes back to, to, to kind of what I talk about when I'm talking about having more than one deal going on at once, like having multiple deals happening. It, it's kind of the same like mindset. If you have a listing, two listings, three listings, four listings, a lot of people spend a lot of their time like working on those listings and stuff, or I don't know what they're doing to be honest with you, but they spend a lot of time on those listings that they already have. So what I'm saying is, is let's use this same mentality with those listings, put them in MLS, and then forget about them and go get more listings to put in MLS. If you want to circle prospect around the listing, great. If you want to post it on Facebook, it takes two seconds, post it. 
I don't know what else we're going to do. We need to literally forget about that and let the market sell it and then focus on other things. Now that doesn't go for commercial properties or, you know, huge commercial deals, right? That's a different ball game. You have to put some work into those bigger deals. I'm talking about residential houses, condos, that kind of thing. All right. Uh, we got to quit like, like our mental capacity can only handle so many deals at once. So why are we filling up all of our mental capacity with just a few deals and a few buyers and then letting things distract us from going to getting more people? Like we can only handle so much. So you gotta, we gotta keep our mental capacity clear, right? We gotta keep it clear so we can always have room for more, right? It's all about mental capacity. How much can you handle at one time?